we have sample problem, calculate the power required by a system of one compressor that is serving two evaporators. On evaporator carries a load of 35 kilowatt at a maintaining temperature of 10 degrees Celsius and the other load of uh, that is 70 kilowatt with a given maintaining temperature of negative 5 degrees Celsius then a back pressure valve reduces the pressure in 10 degrees evaporator to that of negative 5 degrees Celsius evaporator. The condensing temperature is 37 degrees Celsius and the refrigerant that is used of the system is ammonia. Now we will be looking for the coefficient performance of the cycle. Now I bring down here the 2D diagram representation of the cycle. Now for our condenser, we have the given uh, temperature which is uh, 37 degrees Celsius. Now for our evaporator, so we have two. Uh, uh, the one is carrying uh, the load of well, this uh, 35 kilowatt. Then with the corresponding maintaining temperature of 10 degrees Celsius. And on the other evaporator, uh, we have the load which is uh, 70 kilowatt with a corresponding maintaining temperature of negative 5 degrees Celsius. Now we have the process here. So we have starting here your suction of your compressor that will be your point 1. And we have your discharge which is now our point 2. Then after point 2 we go to the condenser so this will be now our point 3 after the condenser then for our expansion bulb so we have your point four for going to the evaporator one and we have your point five and we have your six then we have um here is your point seven and we have your point eight so you will notice here we have a mixing points which is mix of 0.6 and 8 and we have the pro, uh, outlet of 0.1 going to the compressor now the problem is look, uh, looking for the COP of the system remembering that our COP we have your equations uh, initially that will be the uh, we call the refrigerating effect of the evaporator so that is the ratio of refrigerating effect of the evaporator and uh, of the compressor so if we will try to represent that one we have here uh, the refrigerating effect which of we have two refrigerating effect from your evaporator to ab for your two evaporator so that will be your enthalpy enthalpy at uh, evaporator 1 change in enthalpy for your evaporator 1 so that will be the refrigerating effect plus uh, the change in enthalpy or the refrigerating effect at the evaporator 2 so that will be enthalpy 8 minus your enthalpy 7 then the compressor we have the change in enthalpy in your compressor so that will be your enthalpy 2 minus your enthalpy 1 so we need to find the properties for point, uh, point 0.5 okay and 4 8 and 7 inch and 2 also and 1 to get the corresponding COP of the cycle now what I have here uh, is a um, pressure enthalpy diagram for refrigerant 717 or the ammonia which is the one uh, used by the cycle of the problem so let's try to plot the properties of the cycle here to get the to draw the cycle process 
Now referring to the temperature, we have two temperatures. So for low evaporator temperature, we have negative 5. So we have here 0 and you have negative 20. Now if you will try to draw the line, so it is somewhere here. So that will be then uh, assuming this is our negative 5. So referring to that one. Okay, so let's try to do to draw this one. And then next uh, we have uh, that will be 10 degrees. So you have here 0 and 20 degrees. So that is in the middle. Okay, so I've drawn here the dotted line. Now next we have the condensing temperature which is 37 degrees. So we have here 40 and 20. So 37, so definitely it's nearer to the 40 degrees. Okay, so I here draw here the dotted line just to represent so that we have the basis. So next we will be plotting also that one in a solid solid line. Now for the properties and pressures and enthalpies of this point that is being uh, flow of, uh, the flow of the cycle or being stated in the problem and also the cycle. We will be referring to the table so to make it exact. Now for the evaporator that is maintaining 10 degrees so I have boxed the properties here so that we can use that one for our computation. Now referring to the cycle diagram so that will be 10 degrees of the evaporator we have your enthalpy 5 so this is the uh, the enthalpy at point uh, at the given temperature of 10 degrees celsius now going back to our table we have this one so that is 10 degrees now um, the properties of this enthalpy at 0.5 so this we will become already in the saturated bay 4 so looking at the table of your enthalpy we have the value that is um, 1472.11 so that will be 1472.11 kilojoule per kilogram at the given pressure of 0 0.61505 mpa and the given temperature of 10 degrees celsius so let's have a double check on that one. So we have that one. Now let's do plotting these values to our uh, pH diagram. So that will be 10 degrees. It is somewhere here. So we have the given pressure of 0 0.6. No? That is 615.505. The unit of mega Pascal. Now we have here also the point no, where the saturated vapor intersect with the saturated vapor line. So we have the process traveling at the horizontal line going here. Now let's go to point 8. So that will be after the evaporator with a load of 70 kilowatt and a maintaining temperature of negative 5 degrees Celsius. So let's go and check our uh, properties table so if we look closely we have negative 6 and negative 4 so we don't have the properties of negative 5 but in order to have to get the properties we will be uh, interpolating the values here now that will be we have here uh, that is the in between no so we're going to interpolate so that will be negative 6 minus your negative 5 negative 6 minus your negative 4 and also for your pressure we have 0 0.34114 minus your pressure uh, in the middle then we have 0 0.34 and 111 minus 0 0.36880 so using your calculator we have the value is equal to that will be 0 0.35, no? So this is 497 for our pressure megapascal. Now for our enthalpy, so let's try to equate this one as uh, we have here 1455.51. So 
so that would be minus by your h8 then it is um, all over all over with one four so this is one four so one four fifty five point fifty one so minus we have one four five seven point eighty one so this one so using your calculator we have the value of so this is one one four fifty six point sixty six with the units of kilojoule per kilogram so let's try to plot this one in our ph diagram so i have here the pressure which is 0 0.3 that will be 5497 uh, so that will be the megapascal units then later on we'll be plotting also the enthalpy okay with the corresponding enthalpy of this point that the touching the saturation vapor uh, saturated saturated vapor curve now for the subdivision in between so we have starting here 1400 then 1450 1500 and 1550 before we reach to 1600 that is the subdivision line for for the values of our enthalpy here now for uh, we have your point eight now so our point here eight is at uh, this one touching our saturated vapor curve so the value of enthalpy is um we have uh, 1456.66 so this is representing that line so which is touching or intersecting at our saturation vapor curve then next we have at uh, call this the other point here the one that li that one that is leaving uh, call this at 0.5 so leaving the evaporator carrying 35 kilowatt um we have your 0.5 at this intersection of the saturated vapor curve with the corresponding dotted line that represents that one for the location so you have the value of 1472 so this is 1472 point 11 